Hello everyone, welcome back to France for episode 2 in the Big Breakfast Challenge Continental Edition. <laughs> oh yes, so uh, following on from the previous episode, it is uh, still August, uh, still late in the afternoon on this particular day in August, and as you can see we are down at the sort of town uh, little village area with a shop there and the old post office uh, mainly because uh, if you look in the top right corner you'll see our money has gone down to 99 euros and that is because I had to insert a small selling station uh, just here or buy point sell sell point yeah sell, selling point it's a little market store from uh, one of Omatana's uh, farm production type packs and it cost us all of 500 euros and a little bit of landscaping money just to get everything sort of leveled up there. Uh, but what that is going to enable us to do is to actually sell some of the uh, uh, newer production things that we've got uh, from the other mods that we've added in for this series that aren't part of the map. Uh, particularly things like the potato sell point, uh, the, not the sell point, the potato production pack. Uh, coffee and other sorts of things. Uh, now there are some other sell points that we may put in later on in the series in different locations but I wanted to get something in now early uh, because uh, we don't have anywhere to sell any of the greenhouse products because if we hop into uh, this screen here uh, things like the fruit yogurt and stuff that's all part of the map so there are sell points for that uh, but the coffee beans, raw and um, roasted, uh, there are no sell points for those. And the same thing with the onions, peppers and cucumbers. There wasn't a sell point for those either, uh, along with some of the other production goods as well. So I wanted to get that in quick since we had a little bit of cash left over. Because we're probably going to be using the greenhouses to make a little bit of cash fairly early on. And with that... Back to the farm. And as if by magic, we are now back at the farm. I know, right? <laughs> uh, yes, so what we are going to do today is actually get those greenhouses I just mentioned up and running. So we're going to hop into our tractor. And if I can... I'm not going to try and cut through there, it's a bit of a tight turn. Uh, but uh, we are going to cut through this one, I think, and I have got all the um, markers turned back on again. I was going to leave them off, but I turned them on for something and then forgot to turn them off, so oh well, we're stuck with them now. <laughs> uh, but yes, so uh, as I sort of alluded to in the previous episode, uh, what we are going to uh, be doing as part of the big breakfast challenge since um, since I'm on a French map I decided I'd do something a little bit different uh, hence the uh, the title of the continental edition of the big breakfast challenge <laughs> now um, obviously we're still going to be keeping in the uh, the sort of uh, the lines of the challenge itself and uh, this has been okayed by Warco himself because this is uh, obviously his challenge and we want it to to be as fair as possible um, but essentially what we are going to be doing is using some alternative productions to make similar but different breakfast foods. <laughs> That's the easiest way of putting it. Uh, obviously we're still going to do things like coffee and um, eggs and the uh, delicious pig-based breakfast meats, as it were. Uh, but uh, where, uh, let's see, some of the options or some of the things we have to do uh, now, just in case you're wondering, I'm driving down to a, lake, a river while we're talking so we can get water in our lovely water tanker. Uh, but yes, oh, in fact, here we are. This is going to be fun, isn't it? I'm going to have to go down here. I'm going to have to concentrate for a minute because this is going to go horribly wrong if I'm not careful. It's probably going to go horribly wrong anyway, even though I'm trying to be careful. But we'll see. Well, actually, that's not gone too badly, has it? I know it's not straight, but I'm straightening it out. Uh, yeah, so uh, as I was saying, I'm just looking at the, uh, the list off to the side here as well for 
for memory purposes. Uh, but yeah, obviously we're going to be doing eggs and um, pig products. Uh, not that there's a production for it, but you know we'll be rearing and selling pigs as per the uh, the thing goes. Is that going to be close enough? It is. Uh, yes. So uh, where one of the items we have to make is cheese, what we are going to be making is cream cheese through a uh, slightly different dairy production that um, we don't actually have yet. We will have to purchase that eventually. Come on, tractor, you can do it. Yes, and we'll have a look at that in a second. But uh, yeah, we'll be doing cream cheese instead of just cheese, regular cheese. And uh, also, instead of doing just regular bread, we will be making a croissant. Oh yes, some nice little bready crescent half moon things. Yes, uh, now I would do bagels, but I don't think... Uh, there probably is a bagel production. But uh, we're going to go with cream cheese and uh, bake, uh, yeah, cro croissants, cream cheese and a croissant. And uh, what else are we going to do? Uh, there was something else I think too, but I can't remember what it was now. Uh, we're still doing the coffee, obviously. Oh uh, yeah, instead of just doing plain milk, I'd uh, opted to do uh, what do you call it instead? Um, actual whipped cream which is another option through this dairy mod that we've got and which we'll have a quick look at in just a second I'm just trying to remember how to get back to my uh, greenhouses area I think it's up here yeah this looks good uh, yes and uh, instead of just making fried potatoes with the potato production mod I might make something else like um, uh, croquettes or potato au gratin something like that uh, but we shall we shall see about that once we get there. Don't drive into it, you plum. Yeah, I didn't exactly give myself enough space to get down here, did I? <laughs> so a bit close to the trees there, but are we going to make it through? No, we're not. Bum. Okay. Have a quick. Maybe that will get it through. Yeah, I think I'm just going to drive straight through here and around the side first get this one because there's a bit more space <laughs> oh dear. there we go unload that I'll probably have to get a water point at the uh, farm eventually get some sort of piping plumbed in uh, but yes if I go into productions here all we have under factories uh, where is it uh, obviously these are the map ones, campaign of France, uh, coffee production there, we uh, we will need that to roast the beans, and then, ah oh yes, the cream factory, that will allow us to make cream cheese and whipped cream, so we will be doing that, and the bakery one I think is on the end here somewhere, oh there's the potato processing plant, so it's all sorts of different potato based items that we can manufacture from that so we may pick something other than just standard fried potatoes just just to be a bit different uh, and if i can find it oh yes the sweet bakery well, we can do a croissant and i believe there's a, a raisin bread and also a, a pan au chocolat basically chocolate breakfast bread or chocolate bread <laughs> so uh, yeah we'll uh, we'll definitely make the um the croissant from that and cream cheese and possibly some chocolate bread as well uh, but yeah that is my um, plan essentially so uh, let's see obviously that's uh, a long time coming because that is that those productions are going to be quite expensive now I'm taking a bit of a shortcut here through our one field and then down this little grass patch so we can get back and get another thing of water and then we can have a look at that uh, greenhouse. In fact, I might look at it quick once we get there. Come on. Yeah, because uh, the quicker we can start getting a bit of money in, the better. Because, oh, you utter plum. Why do you have to stop there? Right. Don't you honk your horn at me, Citroen. I wanted to turn down there. Rude. 
<laughs> and now I'm probably not going to be able to get it to work right, am I? Oh dear, whatever. Oh yeah, Wi-Fi. Let's go up here and straighten up a bit. Swing the old camera around. Have a look at. Oh dear. Maybe in view would be better. Actually, yeah, this might work. I just need to be very careful. No, that is not quite going to do it. Forwards. Ah, there we go. That's got it. No, 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 no. no, that's not got it. It's all gone a bit wrong. Uh, yeah, so I'll manhandle this down here, get some more water, and see you back at the greenhouses in just a minute. All right, we're just coming back up to the greenhouses again, and then sneaking around the back way on the grass so we can get to this one without too much of an issue this time. There we go. Unload there. And while that's doing, let's whiz into, uh, let's pop up inside this one quick and see what options we've got. So it's got 5,000 litres of water in it. We are going to need a lot more than that. Uh, let's see. Uh, da -da -da, peppers, onions, cucumbers. Well, onions and cucumbers are definitely the quickest. Uh, I mean, lettuce and tomatoes we could do as well. I'm thinking of something just to get some money in. So let's have a quick look at the prices on those. Uh, cucumbers are good in October. That's fairly soon. Onions are already pretty much at their top price. Uh, let's see. Peppers are going to be March. Hmm. So it might be worth throwing some cucumbers on. Possibly peppers as well in the long run, but maybe some cucumbers so we can get uh, a little bit of cash coming in. We are going to need to buy some apple trees as well, because I want to make some apples and potentially apple juice in the future. We shall see about that. But where where are tomatoes and lettuces? Uh, lettuces are in February, as are tomatoes and strawberries. Interesting. But yeah, I think we are just going to go with, I think I said cucumbers, didn't I? Yeah, let's just go with cucumbers for now and see how long that takes to make and see what we actually get out of it as well. Okay, so let's close that door and go out of the other one instead. That way I won't be trying to walk straight into my trailer. Lovely. Gotta love these greenhouses. I know I could have done it all from the menu screen there, but you know, sometimes it's fun to actually use these things and go in and manually press stuff. Now, coffee beans. Okay, in order for this one to work, we are going to need to get liquid fertilizer as well. So that will have to wait for a bit. Okay, uh, well, I'm going to go ahead and get a couple more loads of water and see about, uh, let's see, getting that, and then I think we'll probably start mowing the back of that, uh, oh, no, I wanted to go the other way, didn't I? Uh, we'll see about mowing that sort of hilly region behind the, uh, uh, the greenhouses there, because we could tap that into some hay, and potentially either sell it, or shove it in the, um, one of the animal pens, as food for potential future animals. Okay, that is all done now. That one greenhouse is up to maximum capacity, which is a lovely 10,000, no, 20,000 litres of delicious, delicious water. That is sat in there now, and it's chugging away, making us some cucumbers, I think it was. I actually can't remember, that's so bad. My memory is all over the place right now. <laughs> but, oops, didn't mean to quite do that to it, but okay. Oh, that's gone horribly wrong, hasn't it? That that could have gone better. I shall have to fix that with the... Uh, 
the help of this lovely thing in a minute, probably. Yeah, that, that could have gone a bit better. Let's drop the bucket off there. Because there should be a way to... Oh, crumbs. Pick this up with this thing. It does have a little attachment jobby on there. Oh, that wasn't quite what I'd wanted to happen, but it works. <laughs> it works enough we can get it out of the shed and at least ready for work later. So drop that there. Whiz back in here and grab our bucket because we'll be needing that in a bit anyway. There we go. So just leave that there. Hop back in this, and uh, I've been thinking, we'll see what happens when we roll over the day in terms of actual numbers, but what I'm tempted to do is get a contract, maybe pick up a contract or two before we, uh, before we roll over the day, just in case, because we are... I came the wrong way, didn't I? Oh, kind of, sort of, that's okay. Uh, yeah, we'll need to uh, perhaps look at getting some money, and uh, you know, just to uh, potentially cover some costs, I think if we get uh, get a contract ready just in case, I've just driven straight through the bush. <laughs> okay, so let's have a quick look at the contracts list. I was toying with buying a small baler because if we sell that, um, uh, what's it thing, the um cow pasture that we've got we could potentially buy a cheap baler and go and do this hay contract potentially but eh, yeah is it going to be worth it when we could literally just not buy the baler and sell the thing and keep the money but you know uh, I think field 5 517 13, where's 13? I can never remember the number of the fields actually around us. Okay, 3, 5. Oh, there's 5. They wanted 5 plan. Well, I could do 5, that's nice and easy. 13 is just down there. And I've already forgotten what the other one was. Probably 17, something like that. Let's go back and have a quick look. Uh, yes, 5, 13, and 17. Uh, I think we'll we'll pick up all three of those because they're ploughing contracts and they shouldn't take us too long. Except, except, and what the heck, we'll accept that as well. So we'll get onto that in a bit. But first things first, he says, hoping this is going to work. Uh, no, this is not working. That is just destroying the grass. Okay, does it have an option? Is it just a mulcher? Doesn't have any work mode things or anything quite like that. Oh dear, I think we might have to take this back and buy an actual mower. Because if I'm thinking correctly, what that's done is mulch to the ground for us. Is it going to show it there? We, yep, there it is. It's mulched it. Oh, that's awkward. Oh dear. Okay, so how much is this worth then? On the menu? Uh, where are we? Mulch. Why is it? So I'm sure that was a mower when I bought it. Yeah, it says mowers cut grass. Uh, that's worth probably about six grand if we run it down to the shop. And if I could stay in the menus, <laughs> let's have a quick look at... Uh, uh, mowers, mowers, there you are. What can we get for about six grand? Can we get anything for about six grand? Or have I gone and made a colossal boo boo? Ooh, we could potentially get that. I can't even get that, and that's mm, okay. Well, then, uh, I should ponder that because we don't actually need grass at the moment anyway. 
I was going to get it in advance so that we could just get some stuff ready for the old dirt uh, sheepies. But, yeah, hmm. Okay, well, there you go. You learn something new every day. <laughs> so for now, I should pop this back in the, uh, the old garage here, the old shed. And we won't be cutting grass today. So that plan has gone horribly awry. <laughs> pop that down there. Get away with your mulcher. Well, in that case, what we're going to do is grab the plow out and go do one of those contracts. So, uh, where are we? Field 5 is... Let me get the, the old map of route up. It is this one here. Okay, well, in that case, let us start ploughing. How fast are we going? And I'm missing a bit already. Come on, get back over. Lovely. Yeah, it's not the widest of ploughs, this, but it should be enough to get the job done. And that's what counts. Although the gears are being a little bit naughty with me at the minute. I don't know quite why it keeps wanting to change down a gear. Do we have a different range? Oh, there we go, that's better. thing is having a bit of a mare, isn't it? Well, first gear in... Th oh, no. You're being naughty. Let's go for three. I mean, it's certainly got enough uh, pace for it, but... Yeah, there we go. Well, we've made it one way down the field, at least, so that's nice. <laughs> Well, it's been an age since I've used one of these plows. I think, if I remember right, it should rotate as well. Let's see, what's the button to rotate? That one. Oh, I think I don't have to unfold it or anything weird, do I? No. no. I just thought, got to thinking for a second there, have I gone and... Oh, no, that's that way. Yeah, huh. maybe that's for transportation or something. Oh, there you go. So I might need to get over slightly. And once again, we are having a mare with the old gear ranges. That should do it. Hopefully, stick it in there. Third thing. God, I'm making the right pigs here with this ploughing job, aren't I? <laughs> Apparently, I need more practice with these plows. Yes. But, nevertheless, we are ploughing, and that is exciting. Oh, yes. Lovely job. Uh, well, I won't uh, force you to sit through all of this field ploughing. Uh, we'll skip ahead to when it's done, since it is just a contract. And oh, I'm going to have to go and fix that, because that is just awful. Yeah. But, nonetheless, I shall continue on with this, and we'll hop back in when we get to the end of the contract, and get ourselves a little bit of money in the old pocket. And then, likely as not, roll over to the next day and see how bad our... Uh, rent and building maintenance and everything is, because I have a feeling it's going to be a little bit more than I would like. <laughs> Alrighty, we are back, and we are just getting to the end of this field here now. Hopefully we'll get uh, get it done very, very shortly. 96% yeah, complete there, that is good. Hopefully we won't have to come back down this side, but we probably will. Knowing my luck, I'll get right to the end and it won't quite be enough. <laughs> but, with any luck, it will be. 
fingers crossed we shall see here and then we'll get our first little bit of money which will be quite helpful indeed because we don't know exactly how much we're going to have to pay in terms of rent and stuff or not rent but um, like building management costs oh there we go contract is finished on field five so we'll get to the end of this row here since we have to anyway and we will call that good perfect well not exactly perfect but there you go <laughs> yeah oops one of them let me fold that in like that and uh, we'll head down the way to uh, the next field as well now, oh crikey, bit of a drop there <laughs> that was a, a bit more sudden than I was anticipating but that is okay so let's have a look here we need to turn in the contract there we go, complete we can collect that and we should get quite a nice little payout so now we've got 13 and 17. Uh, let's have a look, see where they are. Should both be fairly close. Uh, well, there's 17. Oh, 13's down there. Okay, so the easiest way to get to them. Okay, oh yeah, we're going to have to go up past our... Uh, uh, what's that thing, too? What do you call it now? Um, yeah, I almost called it a pig pen. It's not the pig pen. Uh, the pig pen is elsewhere. <laughs> yeah, it's the um, cow pasture. That's the word I'm looking for. So we'll whiz out here onto the main road. A bit bumpy, going a bit quick perhaps. <laughs> well, let's see where we are. So I should have probably turned back there, but that's okay. We'll follow this road round and then take one of the side roads. Once we get uh, through to the foresty bit, I think is where it is. Yeah, oh, in fact, we're coming up on field 13 now on the left here. So I'll let that car go by. Lovely. Oh, this is field 13. Well, that wasn't as bad as I'd expected then. Okay, let's straighten that thing out. I don't know what happened to this one. Did the crop wither? Oh, he had oats that withered. That's a shame. But that's not a bad thing for us because we get to plough up the field and make some money. Which is always a good thing. Can't go wrong with a bit of money. Although I'm still getting used to the size of this plough. <laughs> or perhaps the size of the field, one of the two. Yeah, I'm not quite coming over far enough, I think. But that's okay. Yeah, there we go. I wasn't quite on the edge there. Okay, a little bit slow on the old uh, slope coming up here. I'm not sure if this plow is designed for this tractor or not. Ooh, struggling a bit. Come on, tractor, you can do it. There we go. Oh, 10% complete already. That is not bad at all. Not bad at all. Okay, so we'll rotate the plow quick. And if I can get it right this time. Back it up. Get the wheel over there. Get going, drop it down. And we're pretty much downhill all the way now, so I'm sure we'll do just fine. I say that, and of course now we're stuck doing uh, not very many miles per hour again, or kilometres per hour since we're in France. That'll sort itself out in a minute. There we go. Better. And of course doing all that I managed to get slightly off track, but that's okay. Yeah, this isn't going too badly, I don't think. Now, likely as not, what we'll do is finish this contract, and it is starting to get dark, so we'll probably get this done, and I'm just... Oh, I'm making a right pig's ear of this, aren't I? <laughs> yeah, it's uh, not the biggest plough in the world, but 
I, I don't know if I'm just going off uh, off track slightly or quite what it is, but yeah. Oh well, there we go. Come on, car, get out of the way. Try and reverse. <laughs> well, don't stop there, that's exactly where I wanted to go. Okay, yeah, honk at me when I'm behind you. That's that's smart, that is. Yeah. Yeah, clearly I'm in your way at that point. <laughs> Weird drivers. Okay, there we go. And we are off again. Nice. And of course I am missing a bit again. What am I like? I swear I'm having the worst time with this plough. <laughs> well, it's still not cutting it. What is going on? Okay, there we go. That's better. Yeah, I think I'm just thinking it's going to go out a tiny bit further than it does. <laughs> oh dear. Not to worry, eh? It'll all be fine in the morning. It'll come out in the wash or something. <laughs> Whatever the appropriate phrase is. Uh, but yes, yeah, so I shall get this done now and uh, we'll come back again probably in the morning and see where we stand in terms of money loss and all that fun stuff. Because I'm sure these buildings... Oh, there's our pig, pig pen and uh, greenhouse there. Yeah, I'm sure they... Uh, they cost a little bit of money to maintain and run the you know, electricity and water and all that stuff in the animal barns and and things like that. So yeah, I shall see you all in the morning once we know how everything is going. Alrighty, we are back and it is now seven o'clock in the morning and we are in September and as you may have seen there we ended up having to spend 800 euros and a little bit on uh, you know, maintenance building services all that sort of stuff so uh, let's have a look at our field of sorghum and see if it is ready it actually is ready to harvest that's fantastic and we'll just run over here quick as well and have a gander at our uh, greenhouse and see what's going on with this. Aha! We have one box of uh, cucumbers. Are they cucumbers? Yes, cucumbers. And we've got 300 and something, 360 litres just about in there. That is a 700 litre box of cucumbers. Okay. How much are cucumbers? Oh, actually, yes. Uh, we also need to turn in that uh, contract from yesterday, the 700 things, or from last month. So we'll send that back in. Oh, crikey, we've got a lot of bailing contracts going on. Oh, that'd be nice, wouldn't it? Hmm. What do we got? Harvesting? Oh, hello. Oh, we can't do potatoes. Uh, I wonder, we'll have to check the potato equipment and see what's going on there. But there's another ploughing one. Weeding. Oh, we don't have a weeder. Ploughing field 20 would be another thousand. But... Okay. Oh, it was the price of those we were going to look at, wasn't it? Cucumbers. How much are cucumbers? All the way down at the bottom of the list. Cucumbers. They are selling October, so next month. Probably will have um, at least one more crate of 700. So that'll be good for a little bit of money at least. Yeah. Okay, well that's not bad. So uh, we are going to run over here and harvest our sorghum quickly. Uh, we're obviously not going to get a lot for it because it is uh, very much all we need to do with this field as well. It looks like it's got weeds in it too. Yeah, weeds small. 
So we may have to look at getting a weeder for those as well, or just plough it. But we shall see. Okay, so we are going to uh, back it up here. Get into the old harvester. And get harvesting. Lovely, there we go. Now this is sorghum, so there is no straw, sadly. We could use straw, that would be helpful, but for now, uh, we just have to have to wait. I think one of the first things we're going to do is plant some grain crops that uh, give us straw. Because we will need straw for the, uh, the pigs and the cows. I'm pretty sure we don't need it for the sheep, though. <laughs> and of course this is quite a loud vehicle. It's a little bit quieter on the inside, at least. And we do have a tiny header, so we're not doing too badly. <laughs> but, I mean, considering it's not the uh, the best condition field, I mean, we're doing all right. We've got 600 litres coming up now. By the time we get to the end of this, uh, this thing, I would imagine one headland will be... Don't hit the fence. Don't hit the fence. <laughs> uh, one head and probably be about 800 litres, give or take. So I'm kind of expecting this field will give us uh, maybe a couple of thousand litres, two, three thousand, if we're lucky. That would be nice. I need to remember to check on the canola as well. Oh, actually, we're doing a little bit better than I'd expected. We've got 900 litres already. Just coming up to where we started. I think we will do another one just for safety. And we've got about a thousand litres off of that. Okay. So maybe we'll have closer to three thousand litres. And that will actually be quite good. Because we could certainly use some money if this is going to be valuable for us. Uh, obviously, uh, sorghum will be uh, good for chicken feed, but we don't have chickens at the minute. So that is going to be not something we need to necessarily hang on to. If we can sell it for a bit of profit in the meantime, that will be what we will do. So I think once we get to the end of this little sort of downward row, I shall stop and have a quick look at the price the value of our sorghum and see what it's going to be worth if we're going to need to sell it straight away or hang on to it. Because we need to make sure we're making at least $800 a month off of contracts or selling stuff so that we can keep paying our proverbial dues. So let's get all the way back up to the top for the sorghum. Where are we now? Sorghum, sorghum, soybeans, great sorghum. There we go. January. Current price is pretty dire. But January we'll get about uh, 900 for it so that's not terrible and i think we could live with that we could certainly uh we'll hang on to it um we'll most likely sell it then i think because we shouldn't at that point we still won't have enough money for the uh the chicken barn that i'm looking at getting i'm sure which is perfectly fine that is not a problem you know, it's going to take a bit to get things on the go here on the farm and get prepared for the uh, the challenge obviously the big breakfast challenge <laughs> okay let's head up to the end of this row then come back down let's see how we are looking there are a lot of trees in the way here <laughs> a little bit there. Don't want to be missing any, because we are going to need as much of this as we can get our little grubby hands on. <laughs> okay. Yeah, 2,000 meters already. Not bad. Not bad at all. 
Okay, the total off the field is... Lovely. Just a hair under 3,200. Well then, that is not bad at all. Let's see if I can carefully open the pipe out and dump it straight into the silo. That would be a glorious thing. Back up, back up, back up. Don't get it stuck in the wall. So what do I do? I get it stuck in the wall. <laughs> there we go. Dropping it right in. Lovely. Okay, while that is doing, let's hop into the build mode here and go off this way to see if I can find that. Here it is. In fact, it's just next to one of those fields that we need to plough. <laughs> yes, our thing. Um, oh, okay, that's actually selling for a bit less than it was last time. Okay, what we are going to do is sell that, because we weren't going to use it anyway, that this area nice flat bit of land up here we are going to use for productions as and when we get them uh, in fact that might actually save us some money on the um, weekly uh, the, the monthly fees as well not having that let me just see cows was it that it wasn't that one it was only 15 grand it sold so it's probably this one 30 grand Uh, it doesn't have a value on it of how much we'd be paying, which is... No, that's fine. So, uh, okay, that's finished. Good, good, good. Pipe in. Lovely. And I shall pop this in that convenient little gap that's opened up. Which I don't... I thought there was a bush there, but oh well. <laughs> we'll just pop the header down there for now. Get this into the building and have a look at the uh, buying uh, the shop because I'm sure there's going to be some discounts going on at the moment I don't know if there's going to be anything in there we can actually use but we shall see okay, let's pull this forwards for now there we go okay Mr. Shop what do you have for us uh, okay can't use that can't use that could use that, but, you know, that's fine. This, is it? I don't even think it's updated this, actually. I think this is what was here yesterday. Previous month. Oh, well. Okay, so what have we got to do? Uh, contracts. Let's have a quick look at those again. Yeah. If we can find ourselves, uh, that is a... Yeah, that is going to be a massive contract. Absolutely stonkingly big one. Uh, let's see, there is Tedder. And now, see, that's the wrapped bales one. We wouldn't know, have no chance of being able to do that. But there are a couple of hay contracts on there. Now, that would be an absolute gold mine, but at the same time, a massive, massive undertaking. So, when it comes to massive undertakings, let's have a look at the shop menu again. Because we've got some bailing decisions to make. We've also got a couple more contracts to do as well. So, balers-wise, cheap ones that we can run. Uh, we're looking at maybe that Massey Ferguson. It's only small bales, though, so that would be a bit interesting. Uh, let's see, what else have we got... Yeah, there's no way we'd be able to afford even something like that. The Gervail G1F125. Nice little baler, but 59 grand. Way out of our price range. Ooh, there's this little roto cut for 25 grand. That's not terrible. Uh, what else? Oh, there's this old Krona for 12 grand. Ooh. It's 115 horsepower though. We may not be able to to run that or it will be a bit of a struggle. Hmm. I mean, we can upgrade the tractor, but you know, that's going to be a tough one. 
or there's this little Diddy uh, Lely baler, which does the same as the messy one, it makes small bales, which wouldn't be a bad option, we could certainly run it, but small bales, or there's this one, hmm, 15 grand, we still need to buy a mower as well obviously, uh, 180 centimeters that's got potential we could maybe get that one and we'd have to sell our um, other mower what's the other one what's the difference between the other oh, that, that one makes bigger bales okay yeah so uh, if we got that one there's a better chance we'd be able to run that one on our, our tractor at least yeah, that's all. All the options we've got there. Okay, and our mower, I think, which was turned out to be a mulcher, that's worth five grand, give or take. So yeah, fifty six hundred. We we could sell that, buy one of those balers. Probably uh, the Krona one. This one here, yeah, the big pack one twenty eighty and hope we can run that on our tractor that is quite quite a hefty beast it's only 115 horsepower but you know it might be a little bit of a chore bit of a bit of a heavy load on the tractor the other option would be either the little diddy baler for the lelly which i think would be far too small really for this or the New Holland, which would work, but is three grand more. Hmm, we are going to have to make some decisions. But you know what? Those decisions are for future us to make. So current us is going to grab the old tractor -oo here, pick up the plow and head out and finish a couple more of those contracts, or get stuck on the pole. Because I know how to drive a tractor, honest. <laughs> I, I do, really I do. <laughs> uh, yes, so current me is going to take the old plow here and go and uh, finish a couple of those plowing contracts that we have and ponder our predicament as it were. So where are we going for plowing? We've got 17 to do and I was thinking of 20 as well. Let's just check where 20 is. 20, oh 20 is literally right next to it, so I might as well take that one as well then. Okay, yeah, so I am going to accept that contract. I'm gonna to toddle off and do those. Uh, potatoes. I'll just check the potato equipment quick and see what we've got installed for that. I don't think we have anything really cheap. I mean, there's that. 12 grand. I think we'd probably be better off getting the uh, um, baler and a mower more than the uh, some of this stuff here. Tempting, though it is. I mean, oh, we do have that one. Now, that's a possibility. Hmm. That is something to think about. We would have to put the, um, the potatoes, you know, lift them up with our little uh, digger and plonk them into the trailer and then do, oh god, our trailer's tiny as well. That's going to be a fun old job, isn't it? <laughs> okay, so how do I get to this field? Where is the field? Field, field, field. There we go. Take a right up here. Uh, left up here first, then a right. Uh, but yes, yeah, so I'm going to go off and do these ploughing contracts and uh, have a ponder on what to do with our purchasing of equipment. Uh, so next time we may well have a new baler or a new potato harvester or... I really don't know. We shall see how it goes. So yes, uh, if you've enjoyed whatever this was, then... Uh, do please give us a like and 
hit the odd subscribe button there too if you have not already and uh, comments are always welcomed and if you would like to share this video that would be greatly appreciated so yeah, i hope we will see you all next time as we continue on with the big breakfast challenge <laughs> cheerio everyone <laughs>